Hi there, welcome to Morgan's Fancies, and this is the next installment of the Steampunk Tag Challenge for the Craft Hole. And um, I just wanted to go through what I have so far, um, and I will go uh, go through making actually this part. This is the, this is the top part. I have the bottom over here that is unfinished that we're going to be doing. And hopefully I'm in frame. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to reshoot this. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how to how I got to that point. Also, I'm going to show you how I did the... It's a similar technique to this one. Um, I did the, the wings for my Stampin' Bella gal. A little steampunky, sassy girl. I also have um, other parts that I have um, pre-done, and um, like a clock face, this wonderful, um, I got this from a swap just recently actually, and I just, um, I colored her with uh, the pu brush pewter all over and then took um, crush olive and uh, carefully did the, the leaves around her face. I am so impressed with that. It looks so awesome. So um, I'm going to do that. And I, all I've done is put the tag on some um, heavy chipboard. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the show. So let's... Uh, start working on our lovely bottom part. So all I've done, um, this was actually, I think this is the place card or signpost or something from Tim Holtz. Um, I got it in a swap a long time ago. I uh, just hadn't used it yet. I cut it in half and that's what I'm... Um, so I can do the top and the bottom of the day. This part... It's going to be hard for me not to try and sing along with the music that's going on because I, I always craft music. So you always singing and crafting at the same time. Oops, that did not.
And I'll try and uh, make this a little bit more entertaining for you. <laughs> I am still learning the editing program that I'm using. So um, once I figure out how to speed it up and slow it down and do all the fancy stuff to my videos, I might be re-editing each one. Or maybe not, I, depending on how much time that will take. So I never really did learn non-linear non editing in school when I went to I went to, to um, college for television broadcasting, but I never did get a job in it. Kind of frustrating, but oh well. That's life. Life took a different path. And actually, I'm loving being an artist, so. It's one of those things. Why didn't I go to school for that when I was young? I, was, I don't know. I ended up going for television broadcasting. Not that I regret it, because I was so shy when I when I went entered college that it really did help me to say no and to uh, to stand up for myself. It's a, it it wasn't a wasted experience by far, but um, it certainly didn't help me on the job front. Sorry, I'm trying to go as fast as I can with, with uh, putting the pieces on so you get an idea. Try and keep in frame. Hopefully this is in frame. If not, then um, I'll just use certain parts of the fish. We'll see what I can do. All right. Now I've gotten to this point, and I'm rubbing it so you, the um, the embossing folder pattern can be shown. I think I did it the other way on the other one. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I like variety. Anyways. I'm going to take my, um, this is actually a Martha Stewart styling, stylus tool, one of the, I think I got three or four of them. So um, what I'm going to do is, well, eyeball it, I'm going to make an indent for a, uh, 
the Tim Holtz one. my hands for you. As I keep telling people, there's a reason why I don't work in a restaurant. That actually kind of looks kind of cool. Alright. So this is what we've got so far. Now I'm going to take the other end of the stylus, the really small end, and where I have uh, overlapped the tape, I am, and I don't, I actually like it when it's not so perfect. I'm going to put like little rivets in. This to me is me like me trying to do straight sewing <laughs> It doesn't work like that for me, so. trying to put in the light to see where I have, but it blends in so well to my eyes. So, there's something in here. And I'm, I don't do every single line. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So that's what you have now. What I do first, because I don't have a black um, distress stain, I'm just taking, this is a folk shiny acrylic paint. And all I'm doing is taking a finger. I'm big on using my fingers. <laughs> I love getting my fingers dirty. Um, and all I'm doing is literally, I think I got too much on my finger, but literally just rubbing it into the crevices and um, the rivet, getting them to show up. In I'll do this until I'm satisfied about the color, about the tarnishedness. Um, literally, it's just me patting black until I'm happy with it.
And I didn't do it on the other one, but I think I will do it on the bottom one here. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to. If you rub hard enough, it will come off anyway. There we go. So, <laughs> find the dirty fingers. But, uh, so that's what we got so far on here. From here, I'm going to put the lid, because I tend to knock things over using the same fingers. Um, I'm going to put pools of color down. Hopefully you can see that. Let's put some green down. Some, oh, let's see. Sorry, the aged mahogany, not fire brick. Anyways, I have a good pool of all those four colors. And all I do is start tapping on it. Sometimes I'll mix them, sometimes I won't. Each color um, lends a little bit of its own flavor of uh, tarnishedness, I guess you could say. I like the way it looks. And sometimes I'll put like two or three puddles down. Finger. One finger for each color. color I use. <laughs> I use it for the other one so it won't go to waste but this is the, this is the one I need. Although I might play around and put something I don't know. We'll see. I like it. I like it. Anyways. pretty good. Um, I think I need some more green in places though. Okay, so that's how we have that one. And I'm, I was going to do the same thing for this one, but I, I don't think I'll film it. It's this. It's the same technique, except for instead of following the um, where I put the tape, I followed the pattern on the the wing instead. Thanks, and um, I'll come back in the next video and see how I'm going to put this all together. Thank you.